My name's Margot Ngawa Neal. I'm the head of the Centre for Indigenous Knowledges at the National Museum of Australia, Senior Indigenous Curator and Advisor. I represent the stories of my people, of the First Peoples of Australia, and we do that in multiple ways, uh, either through exhibitions or um, publications or works of art or performances. But what's changed mostly over the last 20 years is that um, I, at least, have got into a situation where any work I do with any other Indigenous people, I form what's called a curatorium. So I'm the lead curator, potentially, and all the others are not Indigenous advisors or Indigenous reference group. They are the co-curators or the co-writers or the co of everything because that mob whose stories we're telling, it's their stories. I'm the choreographer. My name is Margot Neal. My Aboriginal name is Ngara Murua, and I'm the head of the Centre for Indigenous Studies, Knowledges rather, at the National Museum of Australia and the Senior Indigenous Curator. So I led the curatorial uh, team for this exhibition, Songlines Tracking the Seven Sisters, and I led a group of Aboriginal elders and they were the curatorium, so together we curated the, the exhibition. Oh, thank you very much um, um, for that. I, I'd like to acknowledge the Jaja Wurrung. I'd also like to acknowledge um, all the other Aboriginal people through various historic circumstances who have found themselves on the Jaja Wurrung lands and to acknowledge my own people, the Gunai Kurnai and from the Kulin Nations and my Gumbanga people in the Northern Rivers and um, Wiradjuri um, in, from New South Wales. I'm currently standing on the lands of the Ngunnawal and Ngambri peoples in uh, the Canberra region. And so I would clearly like to acknowledge them as well. So um, I just cannot, Every time we do this acknowledgement of a country, I cannot tell you how it gladdens my heart because 20, 30 years, 20 years ago even, this would not happen. And if it happened, it would be a very rare event. And now, I mean, I go to stuff all the time and it's, it's an absolute um, essential protocol regardless of your political persuasion. Uh, regardless of your interest in things Aboriginal or not, it's now become such an institutionalised thing and it, that all goes very well for a lot of other things. Thank you. It's in embassies and this is establishment, right? So we're talking about a sort of a brand new idea, a new proposal about um, appliances with fine art on it and for a lot of people to marry those two concepts is a difficult thing. But the fact that we're here in an embassy, in this case in Washington, plus many other embassies around the world in, in absolute establishment territory means, you know, there's something right for the time. And 